Hey everyone, welcome to Click3D. This is the program where we talk about photogrammetry and where you can use nothing more than just a digital camera and some software to produce some really compelling and realistic 3D models. So, um, I'm just going to use a camera, uh, you know, use your best camera for something like this and ideally you want to use a tripod and again those three things that I mentioned before, low ISO number, um, shutter speed, make sure that you're not getting any blurring or movement if you're holding it by hand and uh, the aperture, making sure that you're using a very high F number which is a very small opening and that'll give you the greatest depth of field. In terms of lenses, uh, usually a macro lens for this type of thing is great so a 40 or 50 or 60 millimeter macro is good. It means that the the, the distance that you'll be away from the particular uh, impression is going to be a little bit farther, which is okay because you don't want to be like sometimes right on top of it, but you can, you can get kind of close. So what you're going to do is I'm going to approach this in uh, overalls. So I want to get the overall images, then I'm going to get thirds. So I'm going to try to break this up in thirds or sometimes even closer. And, uh, and what I'm going to do is try and create like a ring, okay, or try to get different angles. So I'm actually not trying to get perpendicular shots. I want to get slight angled shots. And you can imagine if you have an impression that's very deep, okay, there's a lot of uh, undercuts and things like that, you want to be able to get all the sides. And that's one of the benefits of using uh, the camera and being able to get on different angles. You reconstruct all those particular areas. Now with footwear impressions it's usually not an issue because they're not very deep um, but I like to get different angles and it tends to reconstruct really really well. So to start off with what I would do is, is do some overall. So I would get up about here and I would take a few shots uh, like overall maybe one or two and then I kind of go down a little bit closer and then I'll take a few more shots okay like that and then what I'll do is I'll get even closer and I'll take a few more shots and you'll see I'm just kind of moving linearly this way all right and I want to get in close the closer that I get the better detail that I'm going to get out of this particular model then what I'll do is I'll come on one side like this and I'll angle the shot a little bit okay maybe 20 30 degrees this way and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to take four or five overlapping shots this way so I would go like this move over here like that take another shot like this okay and then I would do the same from the other side so I come on this side and I'll take one two three four shots and again getting in close what I'll do is I'll put those images up uh, as I'm talking about them so that you can see the kind of range of photographs that I am uh, gathering here from, uh, from, from the camera and then what we'll do is we'll just process them really quickly but that's the basic premise just getting a nice wide range of images starting with overalls and then getting in really really close um, and don't forget in some of the images you're going to need to get the scale in there as well. 